My name is uh, Moses Natome. I am the County Chief Officer for Water. Turkana County is one of the counties um, that has also been affected by the pandemic, COVID-19. And I think we were among the very early counties in Kenya to report incidences of that pandemic once it occurred. Because, of course, you are aware that uh, we host an international population in the refugee camp that we have uh, here in Kakuma and, of course, the Kalubeye Settlement Scheme. And so when the pandemic struck uh, the world in uh, November 2019, I think uh, we were also, of course, now we got also engulfed uh, in, in that scenario. And I think then, of course, as a county department that is responsible with the provision of water to the residents of the county, according to Schedule 4 of the Constitution, you already know that water is a devout function. And luckily, when this pandemic struck, uh, we also had the advice from the MOH that one of the ways in which the county can be able to beat the pandemic is actually through uh, you know, improvement of personal hygiene, especially the washing of hands, because it was through handshaking and other body contact that then this pandemic was spreading from one individual to the next. And so as a department, actually, um, we were actually at the forefront in ensuring that this commodity is a fail to the residents of our to all the residents of our county, uh, in order to help them, of course, you know, fight the pandemic. And so we were actually one of the first line ministries uh, of defence, because many people know that we had the MOH that was one of the essential ministries, but also water became one of the essential ministries because of that provision of that commodity. And so our strategy then entailed ensuring that uh, we had then this water being available in all public spaces. First, of course, the regular household use, but also most important in some of these uh, public spaces, like the markets, the baraza areas, and the public institutions, schools, even government offices and other government installations. We had to ensure that these hand washing items are available. And so this is one of the uh, ways in which we were able to respond by ensuring that we have failed those uh, hand washing stations in all those places. The second way in which we were able to manage the pandemic, and we are still doing the same, is uh, it wasn't just enough to get those containers in those areas and leaving them there. There was no water. And so, and yet, <laughs> these facilities were not actually connected to piped water because piped water was only able to be found in places like Lodwa and uh, maybe other urban areas. But in some other places, uh, already, which are already water stressed, you realize that there was a hand pump somewhere. So that was not enough to get water to those other spaces. And so we employed the use of water trucking, which basically means uh, getting a water bossa, going to a certain borehole. We call them strategic boreholes for that purpose where water would be fetched and then it is water tracked to areas that had no water or had no access to regular water supply. So through that, we were actually able to fill up those containers so that the public, whenever they are passing by, are able to wash their hands. So this way, we believe, actually enhanced personal hygiene in the face of the pandemic because uh, that was uh, required. This ministry already has been tasked to provide water to the residents. That means we had, on top of the regular water provision, we had to up our game in terms of operation and maintenance. Because if this water was to be supplied, you had to make sure that the sources actually are properly maintained. And that the turn turnaround time, whenever they break down, also is minimized. And so we developed, uh, we came up with our rapid response team, which is basically a group of water officers, some county water technicians and artisans whose work was basically to be able to respond to the calls from the communities. The distress calls for repairs and maintenance of the boreholes so that water is available throughout the pandemic. So this is what we were able to undertake. And a lot of water supplies were actually repaired and maintained so that, again, this commodity continues to be in place. We also had to increase more on uh, drilling of boreholes because if really you were to get water to these people, some areas already had no access to portable water. And so in the county plans, regular plans, we are expected to drill boreholes across the county, especially in areas where uh, we already had none. And so we had to quickly, again, expedite those plans because they were now falling into our strategy of fighting COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So this is what we were able to undertake. And we did not do this, uh, I have to say, and I have to admit, we did not make those interventions just as a ministry of water. 
through uh, the county funding alone or the government funding alone. We also had our WASH partners who work with us in the county. We sat with them and we agreed that uh, they should now be able to support us during this time. And I've never seen that kind of support coming to, to the county. So again, we had our WASH partners who also came in play to be able to help us actually undertake some of these uh, water supplies. We had some even who actually were able to implement these projects. Uh, even in Turkana West, uh, one of the biggest ones, uh, besides UNHCR and uh, the rest who have been there, is the Water Sector Trust Fund. Uh, and, and we had this water and library program for Turkana West uh, that was able actually to avail water to the residents of that sub-county. And we had many others like UNICEF, Oxfam, NRC, World Vision, and of course the, the Diocese of Lodo. 